2019 was a terrible year for crop diseases, so today we're going to talk about how we can make 2020 a much better year and have fewer disease issues on your farm. First of all, let's talk about crop rotation. This is one of those reasons why crop rotation makes so much sense. Let's say, for example, that you had gosses wilt in corn. Well, if gosses came in, it overwinters in your field in the residue. If you plant corn right away again in that field, if you get rainfall just at the wrong time and you have some damage to the plant, that splashes up on the leaves and you've got gosses again if you're in continuous corn. Gosses does not impact soybeans. So if you put soybeans in that field, there is literally zero chance you're gonna have gosses wilt in your soybeans. Crop rotation can really be your friend. Another thing that can help is tillage. Now this is one of the reasons if you talk to people in our grandpa's generation, for example, they would say, hey, our only great way to control insects and diseases, and for that matter, a lot of weeds, was full scale tillage. So we're pulling out the moldboard plow, we're gonna bury everything, and that absolutely can help. Now, there are plenty of other issues with doing that full scale tillage, but I'm just trying to say tillage absolutely can help reduce disease issues on your farm next year. Let's talk about hybrid or varietal tolerance. So when you're picking your corn or you're picking your soybeans or whatever crop you're raising, the variety can make a big difference in terms of protecting you from certain diseases. I mentioned Goss's wilt before, Physoderma was a big issue in corn also this year, and picking that right variety can really help you. You've got natural tolerance for things that you may not be able to protect with, with pesticides. I think my favorite all-time agronomic topic to discuss is drain tile. I love having great management of the water table out in the field because when you do that, what you're gonna find is a much healthier plant overall. All we're trying to do with water table management is have a proper amount of oxygen in the soil. And when there is a proper amount of oxygen in the soil, you will find bigger root systems, much more beneficial microbial growth in the soil. You just flat out have a healthier soil, which means you have a healthier plant, which means you're going to have fewer disease issues on your farm. All right, now let's talk about some of the crop protection solutions. The first one I wanna mention is seed treatment use. This was really key in 2019, and let's face it, 2020, it's going to be a big deal too. We're going to have some wet soils out there. It's going to be late in some areas before farmers are able to get in the fields. And whenever you're getting planting done late, it's because there's too much moisture. When there's moisture, there's often more disease that comes with it. Don't skip the seed treatment next year. In fact, go to the premium seed treatments. They made a huge difference this year and will again. Yeah, so on our farm this year, we use 36 seed treatments on the soybeans. We use 33 seed treatments on the corn. If you do something like that, you're gonna have a lot healthier plant. This is one of the reasons why our plants emerged faster, why they looked healthier all season long versus the untreated or the lesser treated. So for example, here this fall, you're gonna buy seed corn in most cases, all right? When you buy that seed corn, ask your seed dealer, how many seed treatments come on this seed? If they say three or four or five, say, um, is there something else you can do? Because I want more seed treatments, I want more protection, I want more help against diseases and all the other problems that are gonna come out there in my soil. Of course, later on in the season, there are some foliar diseases that come in late. We can protect against those by putting a preventative application of a fungicide out there. What we saw this year was we needed at least two modes of action, if not three. Many of those three-way fungicides included a strobe, a triazole, and an SDHI chemistry. They worked really well, but the key is to get them out before you see the disease if you want the best protection. All right, so fungicides absolutely can help, but the last thing I wanted to mention is, let's just talk about general fertility. I already said having drain tile out there and managing the water table, you're gonna have an overall healthier plant. Same thing when you have the right fertility levels. It's just like you or me. If we take our vitamins every day, if we eat right, guess what, we're gonna be healthier. Make sure you're looking at not just N, P, and K, but take a look at soil pH, look at base saturation, look at all your micronutrients, do a good job balancing the fertility in your soil, and you will have a healthier crop and fewer disease issues. Crop diseases were really a big deal in 2019. We expect them to be in 2020 as well, so take these steps to protect your crops. Also, another thing you want to do to protect your crops is control our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 